In this video, I'm going to draw this basic t-shirt for you. What I'm going to do is go through what all the different pen tools do. So I've uncoupled my pen tool from the toolbox and I have it here. I always work like this. We'll first of all look at the pen tool and what it does and the anchor point tool and how that converts anchor points. I'll do a quick overview here on the side showing you what the pen tool does. So on first selecting the pen tool, and just resting it without clicking your mouse down on the actual work area, you'll see that there's a star next to the pen tool. Clicking once adds an anchor point. Moving it away, you see that there is a preview of the line I'm about to draw. And clicking once again draws a straight line. If I move my mouse away again and click, but this time I hold the cursor down and drag, I start to create what are called handles. Those handles shape the line that you've just drawn and shape the line that you're about to draw. So as you can see in the preview, it's curving that line. I'll do that once more, but this time what I'll do is rest my mouse back in the anchor point and if you keep your eye on that handle there, what will happen is it disappears when I click again. So when I've rested back in the anchor point, you've seen that upside down V, the handle has disappeared. And if I click again into that handle and come down, I've actually created a sharp point there and I can close that shape. If I want to, I can add another anchor point to the line, so click on the path, I will go to the direct selection to show you what happens there. I can delete an anchor point by clicking onto an anchor point or I can convert an anchor point. So I've come here to my anchor point tool. I can click onto that anchor point and then click and drag and I start to drag out handles. Very simply, that's what our pen tool does. I will delete this now, so all you need to do is just delete. So let's do this t-shirt. Essentially, I've got an anchor point in the center, two, three, four, five, six, and seven back in the center again. The less anchor points you have on a drawing, the better it is in terms of file size. So just think about that. When I draw a t-shirt, I initially start just by drawing a straight line, then to the shoulder point. I come down to my underarm and I'm going to line that up with the bust line. Click in here, holding my mouse down, I drag to create the armhole shape. You see the upside down V again? I click back into that anchor point come down to just above the waist and drag so that I can create that nice curve in the waist as you can see there coming down to the hip point click and drag here I need to click back into the anchor point and come back to the center I will try and line this up with my first anchor point but if I don't it's not a problem now what I need to do, you'll see that the pen tool is still attached. So I go back to my selection tool or I use the keyboard shortcut, the letter V, to deselect the pen tool. My next thing that I'll do is I'm going to align these two anchor points. So to align the anchor points only, I need to use the white arrow or the direct selection. And you will see that all other anchor points that I haven't selected are inactive or they're white in the center and the anchor points I have selected are blue or active. You'll see in the option bar your align options come up. If they don't come up here you can find your align options in your windows panel and there they are. You can also dock this with the rest of your panel so you've got your align options there. So I've aligned these to the right, you can do it to the center, it doesn't really matter. 
back to selection tool. I select that whole shape with my black arrow. I come to my reflect tool. When I click onto it, what you can see is a fulcrum over here. Don't click onto the work area until your mouse is hovering over the center, front, neck, anchor point. Then you click. So I've got my reflect tool. I start to drag my image across. If I hold shift, it drags at 180 degrees. And if I press alt, you can see that there's a double arrow there. Let go of the mouse, let go of the keys. Alternatively, what you can do is double click on the reflect tool to bring up the reflect options. So you can see it's previewed and I can copy it over here. And then if I rest my mouse on the anchor point, what you can see is a black arrow with a white square and it says anchor. If I hold that down and I drag it across until it meets the anchor point of the other shape, that goes white. We have two separate pieces that we need to join. To join them, I need to select only the center anchor points here and here. I'll do the bottom one first because it's easier to do this. What I'll do is select these two anchor points with my direct selection, click and drag. It's very important to click from the outside and drag it towards the inside of the shape. If I were to do it the other way, what you can see is I pick up that shape and move it. Control or Command Z to undo what you've just done. So from the outside to the inside, Object, Path, Average, OK, Object, Path, Join. And you can see that it's made these two one shape. These, however, are still not joined and we need to join them. So again, from the outside to the inside and I only select so see how small my little selection area is? Because all I'm doing is selecting those two anchor points. Those keyboard shortcuts were Shift Command J to average, and then I deselect and select again Command J to join. Both those are now joined. So if I move that, it's only one anchor point. Always good to average and then join so that you only have one anchor point. I now come to my anchor point tool. Click onto that anchor point and start to drag. If I hold the shift key down at the same time, those handles are dragging out at 180 degrees. If you move your mouse just a little bit up, it'll go to 45. And if you move it a little bit more, it goes to 90. Very important, listening carefully to the next instruction because what we're doing is letting go of the mouse first and then the key. Same at the bottom. I'm now going to do the sleeve. What you will need to do is make sure that the body is not selected. Go to the pen tool and I'm going to show you a slightly different method of drawing using the pen tool this time and using the anchor point tool. Click. I'm only going to do straight lines here, up to my anchor again, and I'm going to close that shape. All I've done over here are straight lines. Now I'm coming to my anchor point tool, and I'm just clicking in the middle of that line and pushing that up. Middle of the line and pulling that down. Here I'm going to zoom in so I can get a better view. Now that you can see how the anchor tool works, you can click onto that armhole line and drag that line past the original line that you drew. After this, you'll arrange and send the sleeve to the back of the body. Object arrange and send to back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to reflect that sleeve. We'll do this using that first method I showed you when I showed you how to reflect the body before I double clicked on the reflect tool to bring up the options. You can see our fulcrum is over there. I'm going to rest the fulcrum on the anchor point, rest my mouse on that anchor over there, 
start to drag and do you see when my mouse goes from black to white it's absolutely in place now. The last thing that I'm going to do is make a copy of this front shade to create the back. So how I do that is I come into edit, copy, edit, paste in back. And now I'm going to just check my keyboard increments to make sure that they're quite fine so I can just nudge the shape up and down while it's still selected. I come into preferences which can be found underneath the illustrator menu preferences and general. The first one is my keyboard increments which I've made 0.5 millimeters which is fine for me and I go OK. Using my arrows on my keyboard I nudge that shape up. Now once again using my white arrow I select that center anchor point and I only nudge the anchor point up using the keyboard arrows. Black arrow to select the shape. I use the down arrow to nudge that back down again. Basically that's it. I can do a few little housekeeping things. I can change the color of the t-shirt by selecting the front, holding shift and selecting the sleeves, coming up to my option bar and changing the t-shirt color to a blue. If you want to do what I've done and give it a tiny little bit of movement over there, I've used my direct selection, clicked onto that anchor point, gone to the end of my handle and just moved the handle up and I'll move the anchor point up a little bit. Same with the bottom, direct selection. And I move that around and that's it for the basic tea. Enjoy doing it.